Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called 911 Prey, and if you'd like to avoid becoming prey, the links and the details are down below in the description as usual. This is actually a sequel to a game I played previously on the channel a couple of months ago called 911 Cannibal, so you might want to go and check that video out before watching this one. So again, we're playing as a kidnapped teenager trying to escape a killer. Last time, we managed to escape the house, but how far can we get? Let's find out. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, all right? Here we go, 911 Prey. All right, so we start off with, oh, oh, we start off by tripping up? Oh dear. Okay, we're not gonna get too far at all, are we? Oh. You were trying to run away from Uncle Ben, leaving footprints on the snow. I guess. Come on, let go, home. Well, that didn't last long. Oh, come on! <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm back in a cage, but it's a different cage. It's still locked, though. Right, okay. There's a gap here. Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh, there's a crowbar, but I can't reach, unfortunately. And some firewood. What? Oh, hang on. Ah, a poker. Okay. Um, let's see. Maybe I can use the poker. Uh, I can't use the poker to break the lock. It's not strong enough. Uh, seems like there's something to use over here, but I don't know what it is. Oh, oh, I'm putting the poker back. I think I'm going to want that. Uh, what if I use the poker to grab? Ah, there we are. Now I've got the crowbar. Maybe the crowbar can be. Yes. There you go. All right. If I break the window, maybe I can escape. This one? But that would be loud. There must be something in this damn house so I can open the window without making too much noise. Right, okay. So this is the one we want to go through. Oh, oh, oh. I wanted to examine it, not break it. Ow! Oh! Damn glass, it hurts so bad. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's probably not good. But I am outside, I am making a run for it. He probably heard that though. No? How come there's so much blood? Oh boy. Right, okay. That is not the quick and easy escape I was after. Poor silly boy. But it's fine. Your body will still serve a great purpose. Is that right? I lost. Okay, well, let's let's try this again. And uh, maybe I'll last longer than 1 minute 26 seconds. Let's skip through this. Okay. So, I need to grab the poker to grab that. There you are. All right, and we're out. If I break the window, maybe I can escape. Okay. But that would be loud. There must be something in this damn house, so I can open the window without making too much noise. Oh, there's a key. There's a key. Okay. Wait. Oh boy. I should check on the boy. Oh, okay, right. So, yeah, again, like the previous game, we've got to make sure that we cover our tracks. We've got to make sure that we keep as quiet as possible. To get back to the cage fast. Exactly. I there we are. I hope he hasn't noticed. Right, well I've picked up the key, but I closed the drawers, the window hasn't smashed, the crowbar's missing. I don't know what happened to the crowbar, to be honest. Where is he? He's not too far away. I think I can hear him. Oh, hello. Well, wait a second. Something is wrong here. Is it? Where did the poker go, Jacob? Oh, the poker. The poker. Oh, I, right, I should have put the poker back. Oh, I, okay. Okay, all right. I didn't want oh, dear. that at all. But you're forcing me to. Uh, oh, okay. I'm down to two lives, but I didn't lose. And in fact, I've still got the key. And this is still unlocked. Okay, he was kind. Right, okay. Gotta make sure to put the poker back. All right, all right. So is that gonna play up again? I hope not. All right, so let's see. Do we need any of the candles, the cups, the plates? 
Got a key, I don't know. Is it going to be for one of these doors? Not that one. This one, okay. Let's see. Oh. I think I recognise this place, yeah. There's the front door, that's where I made my escape last time. There was something blocking the stairs before, right? Like a wardrobe, there was a puzzle here too. Hmm, interesting, okay. Well, it doesn't seem like he's in the kitchen, so maybe now I can have a look. Let's see though. That's right, I remember the pouch down there. That's still locked. Oh, oh hang on. Ah, a resistor, okay. Alright, that's where we put the fuse in, that's where we turn the power on. Okay. There's like an alarm system attached to this door, right? Locked. Hmm, okay. Nothing there? Nope, okay. Let's see. This would be the basement, which is locked. Probably don't need to go back down there. What about here? Ah! Okay. Is that a screwdriver? It, it's a star screwdriver, okay. Could come in useful. Anything down there? No? Oh, oh hang on, wait. Another resistor. Okay, the screw holds the panel. Right, so... Is that not working? Wait, this is a star screwdriver, isn't it? That's a crosshead. Are we going to need to find another screwdriver? Maybe. Alright. Let's see then. Oh boy. Where's this going to go? Huh. Is this somewhere to hide? No. No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright. What else can I pick up? Anything? Oh, hang on. We've got cupboards and drawers down here. Okay, there's a battery. So we've got resistors and batteries. Right, let's close that up. Anything in the drawer? Oh yeah, okay. What's this then? Okay, Secret Society and Terrible Rituals, the Mysterious Cult of Greenwood. There's an editor's note that says, This text is placed in the author's column. The opinion of the editors may not coincide with the opinion of the author. So, let's see. It was a rainy Saturday evening. My business trip to Stoneford was coming to an end, and there was still a few hours before the train. I was unsuccessfully trying to drown my boredom in the bar Downski, when a good-natured man in his fifties, I'll call him Bob, sat down at the bar. It turned out that Bob and I were countrymen, and once lived almost on the neighbouring streets. We plunged into memories of home and childhood. Word by word, I don't remember how an old scary tale that I often heard from the elders came up in the conversation. It's about humanoid creatures crawling out of the ground at night, their mutilated faces are hidden behind masks, and their bodies are wrapped in black rags. They scour in search of young girls, and when they find them, they drag them to their tunnels. There, in the depths, they perform terrible rituals and make sacrifices to their creator. Bob's face changed dramatically. The smile turned into a frown, and his eyes became glassy. Something really bothered him. He poured a whole highball into himself, and then told me a dark and disturbing story. All of the following text is from Bob's words. I moved to Greenwood in the summer of 1917. At that point, the city had not grown so much, but it was already full of life and energy. I got a job at one of the many construction sites. There I met Paul, a sociable and resourceful man. He never missed a thing. Once he offered to go to a secret event, and did not give any details, but assured me that we would both have a lot of fun at the expense of purses. Rich class. Okay. We met at midnight. Paul handed me a mask and told me the rules. Never take it off. Do not speak to anyone but him, and whatever happens, merge with the crowd and repeat after others. After, we moved to one of the mansions on Liberty Street. There were 30 or 40 men inside, all wearing masks. They drank and carried on conversations, as if it was an ordinary meeting. Everyone was very excited about today's vessel, and praised the choice of Junior Watchmaker. This is very eyes wide shut, isn't it? After some time, the clock struck, and everyone went down to the basement. There, on a wooden table, a beautiful, completely naked girl was lying down with her hands tied. She was conscious. She smiled broadly at everyone, but didn't say a word. I don't know. Maybe she was high. One of those guests took a knife, cut his finger, and wrote a symbol on the girl's body with blood. Others began to do the same, including Paul. He insistently put the knife into my hand, and I repeated after everyone. Then the lights were turned off in the room, and we stood silently in total darkness. This went on for probably half an hour. It didn't feel like entertainment at all. 
I was confused and frightened and was already considering how to leave unnoticed, but then a bright light of a candle broke through the darkness. It was another one in the mask who went down to the basement. He began speaking in some strange alien language as the crowd chanted after him. When he finished, he, like everyone before him, marked the girl with a bloody symbol and began to whisper in her ear in that weird language. She began to squirm, like possessed and hiss, and then… Bob fell silent, looked down at the floor and sat like that for about five minutes. I asked what happened next. He mumbled that he somehow managed to get out of the mansion, and the next day he left Greenwood and never returned. I looked into his eyes. There was a lot of pain. Pain and remorse. I felt that Bob wanted to tell the whole truth about that night, but so far he was not able to come to terms with himself. Then the conversation somehow did not develop and Bob hurried to get back home. We exchanged contacts, but I did not manage to contact him with the number he gave me. I cannot say that this story of a fairly drunk guest of a provincial bar is in any way true, but if so, if the story about underground freaks is not a story at all but a free presentation of events that took place over the years in Greenwood and probably in all of Minnesota, all this is extremely disturbing and frightening to me. If you have any information about this, please send it to our editorial address directed to me. Right, okay, a little bit of backstory there, that was a lot to read, a lot to digest. Anything else to digest? Let's see. Okay, there's no drawer there. Okay, we don't want any of that. Nothing on the stool, nothing plugged in, no, okay. We've got- Oh dear. It was- Oh no, 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 no! Oh shit. Right. Where is he? It sounded like he was in here, but I guess not. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. The poker's back there, okay. Hopefully he doesn't see me with all these resistors and batteries and stuff. Right. Well, I guess he heard the noise in the kitchen. Maybe he's going to the kitchen. Maybe he won't even come here. But just in case, just in case, I'll play it safe. Oh. Oh no. Is it? Everything seems to be in place. Oh god, everything seems to be in place. Right, so... He's leaving? I can hear his footsteps. I don't know where he's going though. To the right, I think? Somewhere over there? I don't know. Right, I think it's time to leave. We're okay, we're okay. But you've got to keep away from the rubber ducks, it seems. Bloody hell, okay. Alright, he might go upstairs. Maybe that's where he is. I do want to go up there, but let's make sure there's nothing down here first. Right. So... Around here, we've got a load more drawers and cupboards. Let's see, nothing here? No? Okay. We, uh, uh, we're not picking up a ladle, but we are picking up a ladle handle. But that's it, okay. Anything else? Careful. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want any of this. Oh, what was that? Soup, okay. And chocolate. We don't want to mix the two, apparently. All right. Can't have a look at the cupboards up there, okay. What about these two? Or oh, the fridge, yeah. What the? Ooh. Is it human meat? Oh, damn it! Shit! <laughs> you might want to keep quiet, alright? I don't want to lose another life. Nothing there. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Oh! Okay, there's something down here. What's this? Oh, it's, it's another puzzle box, isn't it? Right, okay. Oh, and I... Okay, hang on. So, I bet the star screwdriver gets used here. There you go. Alright. Is there a switch? Didn't seem to do anything. Oh! Oh, really? Okay, so a resistor goes there, and I think one there too? Brilliant! Okay. Hmm. It doesn't seem like anything's working. No power. Right, I've got a battery. Is this where the battery goes? Oh, hang on. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Here? 
Yes! Okay, now everything's lit up. Okay. Alright. Here we are. Okay, I've got myself a key! Anything else? Alright. Uh, seems like that was pretty much everything. Just in case, I'll put that back. Can I put that down? No, can I put this down? No, okay. Hopefully he doesn't check the puzzle box. Right, so what's this key for? Let's see. Here? No, okay. It is probably going to be for another door, though. So this was locked, wasn't it? Oh, really? It was for the basement. Right. He's either down here or up there. Let's go check down here. Alright. Yeah. That's where I started. That was the cage that I started in, in that first game. And this is all locked up again? The lock is in the way, is it? <laughs> Do I want to go that way? Didn't seem to help me too much before. I'm trying to remember exactly what I did before. Special keys required. Well, I don't have a special key. I've got a handle. Did I use this before? Okay, that's locked. Right, let's avoid that. <laughs> trying to be as stealthy as possible. There's no way to move it by hand. Oh, yeah, I remember... I think levering a bit of the wood off over here, right? There was a switch. I didn't know what it did, though. Hmm. Right. This way? Let's see. Uh, lemons? <laughs> There's got to be something. I mean, I must have got the key for some reason, right? Ah! A lockpick! Okay. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a few locked doors, but maybe it's the padlock? Okay, alright. Hey! Alright, so, quietly now. One of those bars fell down. That's right. I'm remembering the old game. You know what? In hindsight, that was pretty good. Yeah, I, I like the fact that we have to cover our tracks in these games. It's not bad at all, is it? Let's see. Okay, nothing in any of them. Uh, what we got here? Useless drawings. Is that... Is that it? Wait, why am I moving that? I'm not picking it up, I'm just moving it? I'm a little bit confused, but uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. If we need water, we're going to get it there. Anything in the bucket? No. Oh. Oh. Oh, this was blocked before. I didn't actually get to see this room. It's locked. Do I need a... Huh. I don't know if I need a key or to unlock it some other way. Ah, there used to be a key here. Harry Bates Jr. died, okay. Right. Harry Bates Jr., age 68, burned to death in his own house. The fire broke out on Tuesday night and, according to neighbours, was very rapid. By the time firefighters arrived, the entire building was engulfed in flames. Fortunately, the fire did not have time to spread to neighbouring houses and no one else was injured. The causes of the fire are being investigated. Harry Bates Jr. was born in St. Paul, Minnesota on February 20th, 1892. He was an only child, never married and had no children of his own. His father, Harry Bates Sr., moved the family to Greenwood in 1907, where he opened a watch workshop, which later, under the leadership of Harry Jr., was transformed into one of the largest enterprises in the state, Bates Mechanisms. In the 1940s, Bates Jr. established a scholarship in his father's name for talented engineers. Residents of Greenwood will remember Harry Jr. as a philanthropist, an honest entrepreneur, a wise leader, and a true visionary. Farewell will take place this Saturday in the chapel of St. Nicholas at 10 a.m. Hmm, honest entrepreneur, wise leader, true visionary. Not so sure about that. There you go. What's this? It's broken. Oh! But if I fix it, I can get out without making any noise. That's it. That's how we get through the window, but it's rusted, right? It's a rusted glass cutter. Got to do something about that. Right. Hmm. I don't think that was mine. I think that was there in the first game as well, before I got out. I don't suppose there's any reason to go back into my original cell, is there? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Uh, 
Mm hmm Okay. Now there's a safe here. It's gone now. Oh. Okay. Pied Piper. Kills rats and mice. Oh, empty. Oh. It means he's already put it somewhere. Mmm. Okay. Rat poison. Could come in handy, but I need to find it, do I? Okay. Oh, this is different. Ah, here we go. So, basement, shelving rack, boiler room, they're crossed off. Black room, that's not crossed off. Corridor. The corner with a broom. That's not crossed off either. Bathroom under the bathtub. Right. Nothing on the other side. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe I should have a look at these areas. Black room. Hmm. Okay. Ah. Oh, this is still powered on from last time. This is going to make a lot of noise, isn't it? Right. Okay. Get ready to run. <laughs> I don't think that made much noise at all. What do we got then? Ah. A glass cutter disc. Okay. For the rusty glass cutter, presumably? Alright. Let's close that back up, just in case he comes down here and checks everything out. Um, that's not going to remove the rust, though, is it? Wait, wait. No, I don't think putting this underwater would really work, either. That's not ideal. Uh, yeah, okay. I want to check out these areas. I want to see if I can find the rat poison, I think. Okay. Um, at, at least for now, we're going to close this back up. We're going to lock this back up, or make it look like it's locked up. And we're going to continue exploring. Alright. So, let's see. Upstairs? I think at this point, that's where he's got to be. Alright. Let's try this door here. Locked. Of course it is. Of course it is. Through here. Oh, yep, okay. Where's the bathtub? Oh, hang on. Po poisoned cheese. He's already been at it with the rat poison. I see. That's an odd place for a toilet. An odd angle. Nothing down it. Okay. We've got cupboards and drawers here, or do we? No, they <laughs> I don't think they work, unfortunately. Never mind. Right, close the door, close the door, and let's continue. Where is he? Oh, he's right there! <laughs> okay. Right. Is he going to move around the room or what? Can I uh, have a look at the television? I don't know. Is there something on the floor that I need? There might be something on the bed. Hold on, hold on. St. Maria Hospital. Right. Frank Flowers, the cleaner. Nothing on the back, but yeah, okay. There we go. The ID badge. Alright, what about the bureau? Can't check the top, can't check the drawer. Oh, hang on. Screwdriver! Right, a, a normal screwdriver? Okay. I don't know if it's a flathead, crosshead, or what, but right. That might help with the downstairs toilet, right? Or the utility room, whatever it was. Bloody hell. What's he doing? Oh. I think there's a gun there. Do you think I could maybe make some noise and then, like, skedaddle past him and grab the gun? I don't know. I don't know. I might be able to. Maybe I could hide here. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Right. So... What about this? Okay, I can't use this again, so I don't think we're going through there, which is probably good. We've, we've done that once already and we failed. Um, yeah, here we are, here we are. Avoid those ducks, but let's see if we can maybe use this. There we are. They're coming off. Brilliant. Oh? What is that, a switch? Just sound. Is it coming from the canteen? Is it? The canteen. What, you mean the, the kitchen? Like, over here? Has something changed? Hmm. 
Maybe something around here. No, I really thought that trail of blood was going to lead to something there. Uh, maybe this is unlocked? No? Um. Right. There's nothing back here, right? A little bit of blood. Oh, what was that? Oh, was that? <laughs> that was me interacting with the cupboard. Uh, yeah, okay. There's the soup. Can I? I've poisoned the soup. I've put rat poison in the soup. How do we get him to eat it? Hmm, maybe there's something I've missed here. We can't get these open, right? Okay, nothing down there. This is where I found the key. Oh! Oh, hang on! What's this? It was loud. Jacob! Oh shit. Is that you making noise there? Oh shit, okay, okay, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna close this up? We're go oh god, I probably left a couple things. Ah, uh, okay. Can we push this? How do we mo Oh god, oh he's gonna notice that, for sure. Oh jeez. Okay. This isn't good. This isn't good. Maybe I shouldn't be waiting here. Maybe I should be hiding in the basement or something, you know? Oh, I can hear him coming. Hi! Wait a second. Don't notice it. Something's wrong here. No, it's not! Jacob, ah. did you manage to open the panel in the fireplace, but didn't think to close it? Pretty much, yeah. Jacob, please stop. You can't change anything. But I... I can do it. I wish you wouldn't. With the help of all those kids. And yours. Whether you want it or not. Right. So, okay, that's me lost another life. This is it. This is my one final chance. But we did manage to keep this special key. Right. Honestly, I'm not sure how I was meant to close that. Unless, of course, I was meant to go back to the lever. Maybe that's it. Maybe, yeah, maybe I could have undid that. <sighs> okay. So I've got this special key. It looks like... Ah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Back down to the basement. That box on the wall. That was, uh, that was like bolted shut or something. This one? Yeah. Is, hang on, is that WD-40 that I see? That's it, that's the... Okay, okay, we've got some grease. Presumably that's gonna help with the rust a little bit, but... Right. I don't really know what the ladle handle's for, unless of course it is part of this cutter. <sighs> right. Still no way to get that open. No way to move it by hand. I'm using all the items, nothing's working. Um, right, do I have to pick the lock again? No. This is striking me as very, very odd. It, ah, yeah, okay, it, it's a workbench. We're using it as a workbench. This is how we combine, I assume? Yes, yes, okay, so... Um, what are we doing then? Uh, okay, we're greasing that up, and we've taken the handle away. I suppose we want the handle to be replaced, that's it, and then, well, this is the, the new version of that, isn't it? Okay. Can we put it back together? Everything looks new, everything looks nice and shiny, come on. Hmm. Shall I use a hint? <laughs> Maybe I should use a hint. Just this once. Something up there, apparently. Okay, or well maybe there's something that we've missed. Alright. Let's see. Oh. Wait, the hint... the hint is the window. I tried that and it got me killed, so... At the very least, we need to pick up our tool, don't we? But... Okay, 
Come on, come on. Mm. Oh. Oh, there you go. oh right. Almost. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh god, he's coming down. He's coming down for dinner as well. The soup? Right. I, I guess I could make an escape, but I'm, I'm gonna go back in here. Just in case I don't have enough time. Oh, please don't tell me he's gonna notice something out of place. I didn't... No, okay, good. I thought maybe I left one of them open. Don't know why. Alright. He's taking his sweet ass time. Maybe because he's going to get the soup. Is he even. Oh, he is coming. He is coming. Right. Hey. Oh. Oh dear. I've well, we got a front row seat. <laughs> yep, straight into the mask. I love it. You enjoying that? Forgive me for not offering you. Don't worry about it. I've spent enough this month, so it's okay. It's all yours. I know how it looks, but believe me, I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm not one of those. On the contrary, I I want to help. Help? You know, fire. Scorches. It burns and it doesn't care. It doesn't care what or who or how much it hurts. Right. And I want to extinguish it and and I'll extinguish your fire and Jacob. You and I are doing the real good here. The real good. Oh yeah. Not this liberal done the other chick nonsense. Oh boy, he's getting pissed. Yes, it's hard. But to be a man is to act like a man and pay a big price. Oh, just shut up and okay. eat your soup. I have to go upstairs. Thanks for listening, Jacob. I don't I don't feel well. Is that right? I wonder why. <laughs> I'm glad I found that, actually. Alright. See ya! Okay. I think it's time to go. Right. Well, now we've got the glass cutter. We... Is that him throwing up or dying? Either way, this is our chance. Let's go. Come on. Okay, buddy. Don't let me down. It should be fixed, right? Yes. Good, good. Right. right. Careful. Don't cut yourself. You've done that before. And out we go yet again. Okay. This time, I, I will, I'll definitely do it. All right. Look at that. It took me about half an hour, but I got out of the house again. <laughs> Maybe this time for good as well. In the previous game it said to be continued because this was coming up. Didn't get to be continued this time, so maybe this is the end of the story. Maybe it ends with me poisoning him and leaving, actually finding safety and rescue. I hope so, because honestly, Jacob's been through a lot. But that was 911 Prey, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. Oh, oh, oh! I wanted to examine it, not break it! Ow! Oh! Where did the poker go, Jacob? Oh, the poker. The poker. Oh, I, right, I should have put the poker back! Oh, I, okay! We've got... Oh, dear. It was... Oh, no, 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 no! Is it? Oh, God, everything seems to be in place, right. The lock is in the way, is it? <laughs> Do I want to go that way? Get ready to run. <laughs> oh.
I don't think that made much noise at all. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> okay. There's the soup. Can I? I've poisoned the soup. Forgive me for not offering you. Don't worry about it. I've spent enough this month, so... It's okay, it's all yours. 